Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the number 38 short format review. So, Red Seal, Long Cut Winter Green. What is it? Taking a look at the can, you have a beige plastic lid with a sticker on it. Everything is fairly straightforward. All right. Small branding, cut and flavor. You have the U.S. smokeless scrunched warning label. General information is the small print right there. This is smokeless tobacco. It is 100% American tobacco, as is all U.S. smokeless products. Underage sales prohibited and sale is only allowed in the United States. Red Seal branding and reaffirming that it is 100% American grown tobacco. Then you have barcode manufacturer's information. This is a product of the U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company of Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, it is tax class M. This can is larger. This is the only product out at this time that is a larger size can. It is 1.5 net weight ounces instead of 1.2, which is the standard size dip can. What does that mean? That means if you buy four of these cans, you will have the same amount of tobacco as buying a roll of five of any other brand. Okay? On the back, you have a laser print sell-by date as is with all U.S. smokeless products. The one on this is March 1st, 2020. It is not guaranteed fresh stamped can. That is because they have to use a different can for this product. So, I have not had the wintergreen red seal. I am not really for it. I am not really against it. It's not opening anyway, so I don't think it matters. <laughs> Hold on for a second. Oh, boy. Um, it's a subdued winter green. It's sort of, from, from what I remember from when I've had this before. Now, I did do a longer play review, which will be in the uh, description box. Uh, I'll link to that. It is, oh, man, this thing is just not wanting to come off. It's sort of what, like, dark winter green from Grizzly is shooting for. And also, possibly, what Copenhagen is trying with the winter green smooth. And I'm having a heck of a time with this can. There we go. And it is open. Gives you an idea of the cut. These new, newer, last year or so, um... Red Seal Leads have the RS in the can. And sometimes, although not with this one, if you get a very moist, fresh product, like really fresh, uh, that RS is actually sort of partially stamped in the tobacco. In this case, it is not, although it looks moist enough and it is fairly consistent. That is what it looks like, basically dead on. All right, so. It's it's all right. I mean, it's 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 not the longest long cut. It's nowhere near Stoker's, let's say. But I mean, it's it's okay. It pinches well, as you can see. Uh, this can is unpacked, as with all my reviews. So I am sure that you could get it even better than this if you wanted to. It, it's okay. I'm gonna throw it in now, and then I'm gonna hit the pause button. Actually, that's really good. And for me, and we're a green, that's noteworthy in itself. I'll be back in a second. So this is what it is. It is an okay cut, fairly good moisture, winter green dip with a very, or leaning very natural winter green flavor. That's a little bit reduced. It's not overblown. 
That said, there is a mouthfeel, though. There is the wintergreen burn or whatever you like calling it. Um, it stays fairly well formed in the mouth, and it, 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 it's, it's firm but comfortable. All right, nicotine is definitely there. I actually sort of like this wintergreen. It, it sort of reserved like the Skull Classic product, but there's not as dark a tobacco undertone. There's a tobacco undertone, but it's not as dark. And for whatever reason, this one sort of works for me. Red Seal, I think, is a quality product. It is U.S. Smokeless's sort of like budget line. Now, it does price as budgets go a little higher. That is because there is more tobacco in it. Um, it does have a plastic lid. I'm exerting a lot of pressure there, though. You can do a plastic lid properly, and U.S. Smokeless has done it with the Red Seal products. I finally got on the website. The website's actually pretty nice. The website is goredseal.com, okay? That is where you get the collector's lids that they do, I believe, yearly, but I haven't seen any yet this year. They have coupon offers, etc. I had, for the longest time, a problem getting on there. I finally got on there about three weeks ago. I was sort of impressed, to tell you the truth. Um... This is their budget line, the other one being Husky. Now, U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company makes Copenhagen, Skull, Red Seal, and Husky. Husky would seem to be on its last legs. There's only two of them left that I know of. So this is the go-to budget for them, I suppose, at this point. Um, and it, it, it's a good showing. It's a good showing. So you have an okay container considering it's a plastic lid. Okay, it doesn't look bad and it's sturdy. All right, uh, the tobacco is cut. It, it's a shorter long cut. I don't want to call it a mid cut, but it's leaning that way. Nicotine is good. Stays well formed in the mouth. All right, moisture on this was good, and I'm probably halfway to the date. All right, because this was actually sitting here for a little while. So, all in all, quality budget product. Although it sometimes ranges a little bit higher than most other second tier budget products it's because there's more tobacco in it it's always packed full there's never a god's pinch out of it so all in all it's a it's a good showing it's a good showing for something that isn't in a metal lid all right so that is what it is this has been the red seal long cut winter green short format review I am the student tie dip and chew guy. Do check out my aligned channels on the homepage, the people I deal with here on YouTube. And there will be the long format review and a PayPal account for small donations in the description. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.